Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Helsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today for another episode in my Saturday series. Today I'm going to be playing with the beautiful Friendship Photopolymer stamp set. This is from the Stamping Up Annual Catalogue and it is one of my favourite stamp sets because it just is so beautiful. I'm going to get started. I've got some... Whisper White cardstock here. This is 9.5 centimeters by 13.85 centimeters, and I know that I'm going to be using quite a few different colors of inks with these. So I've got all my ink pads on the shelf above me. I will mention anything that I use today is available to purchase from www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net, or you can get the link from my blog, which is just mentioned in the corner down here. So I'm going to start off with this flower. This is a distinctive stamp set. Um, and the distinctive stamp sets of ours are really gorgeous. You sort of stamp it once and it looks like you've stamped it lots of times. So I've got some scrap piece of paper here because I'm going to be uh, stamping off the side of the card. And I've got my So Saffron ink pad. And I'm just going to show you how lovely... You see, you get the shaded bit at the top, it gets darker in the middle. So it actually looks like you've stamped it three or four times, one on top of the other, um, to create the effect. But you obviously haven't. You've stamped it once and the, the stamp's just that clever. So I'm just going to stamp it along the sides. I'm not worrying that I'm overlapping. I just want to get a nice sort of border image with this one. Okay, um, actually I'll pop the, uh, the lid on there before that goes all over me. Um, you've got some nice leaves with this set, so I'm just going to grab one of those. And I'm going to use Smoky Slate for these. So saffron and smoky slate, I think is one of my favourite colour combinations. I really like it. Okay. And we've also got these lovely little sprays here. So I'll show you the sprays they are fantastic for going inside the actual flowers so this one here can go inside this bud and this one and this one here inside this one and it just gives you a bit more of a pop or you can put them on the side for a spray I'm actually going to put them inside and I think I'm going to use crushed curry for that, which is just a little bit darker than so saffron, so it will just give it a bit of a pop in the middle. And I've got problems with my crushed curry, by the way. The um, the label has started to come off, so I actually can't push it back in. And I did try, and I popped some glue in and stuck this back down flat so I could put it in. That worked fine, but obviously while it was in, it just decided to annoy me <laughs> and come loose again. And then it got trapped, so <laughs> now I'm a bit too scared to do it, so I just balance it like this. I think it's a bit of a freak thing. That doesn't normally happen. Normally my stickers are perfectly fine. I think it's because um, I've been working from home. I've relocated different things in my in my bedroom. I might have mentioned to you, so I could make a little crafting side bit on the side, um, which meant that my inks were then put by the radiator, um, which wasn't ideal for drying the inks. But I think obviously um, it also dried out the labels as well. So not perfect, but there we go. So that's sort of the side of the card. Um, I love this sentiment here. I love our beautiful friendship. It's one of my favourite ones. Um, but I'm thinking I might use a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. Make 
maybe cross that. And I'm thinking I might actually um, put it on a different sheet and pop it up. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me just... Uh, On a block. What I love about our blocks is we've got a, a block for every occasion. So if you are using a long one, and I quite like when I use a long one to get the pressure we're still in the middle and not use a big block up here and then not get any pressure in the middle. So these I think are perfect. Um, where did I put my smoky slate? Do I st no, I don't want smoky slate. I think I want um, basic grey. So like crushed, cum uh, no, like crushed curry, was just a little bit um, deeper than so saffron. Basic grey is just a little bit deeper than the smoky slate, so I think it will just make it pop up a little bit, hopefully. So I'm just gonna ink that up, stamp it down, stamp it in the middle, I think. not quite straight but as I was going to trim around it anyway it doesn't bother me that it's not quite straight I can straighten it up on my trimmer so I'm just gonna eyeball that that's, that's now straight yeah Move my card base. Daft. Right. So I'm sure you've seen me do this a million times. I just chop directly up the middle and then I chop this corner to meet it and this corner to meet it. And I get sort of like a bit of a tag end there. So just cut that straight, pop that there. quite like that and do I? I'm trying to work out whether I would like a ribbon on it or not. I'm really not sure. Um, I have the Smoky Slate ribbon. This is the Shimmer ribbon that is with the Peony Suite. And then I've also got um, our gold sort of um, twine. This is from the Winter Catalogue. Um, it's in a duo set with a shaded spruce thick ribbon. And um, I think I want the, the shimmer ribbon actually. I always <laughs> always used to frustrate me when other demonstrators used to do that and I watch their channel and they say, oh, shall I do this and shall, shall I do this? And I'm screaming at the screen saying, please use this one. And then they go and use the total opposite. So I hope I haven't just done that to any of you. Um, I actually think I'm gonna pop it up there, so. Flip that over. Put a little bit of glue on each one. Right round. Oh, run it round straight. Along there like that and then I think I want um... so these are the elegant fasted gems that also go with the peony suite and I'm just going to pop a couple of the see-through ones A 
at the top just like that and I think that's that pretty much done I'm just going to grab some colour should we grab smoky slate or basic grey I'm thinking smoky slate because the majority of it is smoky slate there we go could have gone with so saffron but um there is quite a bit of so saffron on there so there we go and i'm just got my card bases here so this is the thick whisper white card cut in half scored in half I'm just going to fold and burnish that and then i'm just going to add my card onto it okay so that's card number one i could put a bow on it but i actually think it's beautiful enough as it is so i'm not going to i'm going to leave that just like that Card number two, let's have a look at my, my stamp pad, okay. Do you know what, I'm gonna create one of my all time favorite cards. So, you need a two inch circle punch, and I've made this one before, so it is actually a little bit cheating, but I'm, I don't care, I really liked it. And you need a post-it note. Post-it notes are so, so useful. This tack they have up here is great for masking and it doesn't damage your card. So I'm just going to use the two inch circle punch. And run that up and punch out the post-it note. Now the post-it note is thinner than my punch, so sorry, it's thinner than paper. So it actually doesn't punch all the way through, especially where that gel is. But I'm just going to peel it around and that's good enough for me. Okay, it's only so I can get an idea. I made cards like this for a swap um, a few years ago and I just absolutely loved them so I'm, I'm quite excited about getting to make them again. So you just want to loop this off the page. So that's where the sticky bit is but you want it off the page so that it doesn't go all the way to the end. And what I did um, when I actually made these for the swaps was I mass created and did quite a few of them and I stuck a card here and another circle here so I could actually mask all the way around do two for the type of one um, and I did them all in all bright colours but as I've got these colours on my desk I'm actually going to keep in this palette um, so let's get going you want a few different types of the stamps Um, the only one I'm not using is this big one down here. So I'm going to line that one up on my block. Um, actually, I think I want a slightly smaller block for that one. That was a massive block for it. Okay. And I've got these ones over this side, so I feel like that's okay. So I've got two greys, two um, lemons, and I think I think I'm going to go with a petal pink and soft sea foam, just two two additional colours, just a little bit of both. So. Right, I'm going to use the big one. Uh, for that, I'm going to use the So Saffron. Now, because this is a bigger stamp, I'm taking the ink to the stamp so I can make sure that I got all of it. Normally, I take the stamps to the ink, so this is just the other way around. So I'm just going to stamp over my circle, but not by much. So it's going to be... like that okay now I mentioned before about these two little sprigs going inside these so I'm going to do the exact same thing so the little one is going to go inside 
the little bit there the big one is going to go inside the big one like that okay then i've got smoky slate and basic gray so for these ones i'm just going to wipe off the ink from that and i'm going to put this one in smoky slate And then I've got these two. So this one here is like the buds. And then I've got this one here, which is the spray. So I think the buds are going to be in petal pink. Like that. Now, when I did this before, I did it in really bright colours, um, gorgeous grape, Bermuda Bay, um, and that was for this sprig. <laughs> gorgeous grape, Bermuda Bay. Um, oh, I just went bright, bright, bright with it. Um, I think Calypso Coral was in there. There's so many bright colours. Um, if you search on my YouTube and search for Beauty, uh, beautiful friendship it will show you and it was one of my favorite ever cards so this is recreating it but in totally different colors so all i need now is my leaves which are going back into basic gray very dark that i won't do many because that is very dark Okay, and then you can whip that off and you can see now. So I'd actually um, cut that in a two inch circle, but I'm going to use the two and a quarter inch circle for the sentiment, which is around here somewhere. There it is, two and a quarter inch circle punch. And the sentiment I'm gonna use is, I love our beautiful friendship, because I think that's just a lovely sentiment. I'm actually going to do that in basic grey as well. Actually, this is completely up to you um, as to how you want to do this. I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to punch it out in a two inch circle. So let me actually stamp it first. Stamp it. punch it and I'm going to get some alternative colour cardstock and I'm going to punch that in a two and a quarter and layer it underneath okay so that there will be a layer around there and I'm thinking that the layer should be in oh do you know what I really like the soft sea foam on there it's not very obvious it's not very stand out and I think that might be just a, a really nice colour to go with I think yeah soft sea foam's the colour so I've got my base card now what I'm going to do is because no one is going to see this bit that's behind the layer I'm going to punch the hole out of that no one will see it that will then go on there with the sentiment okay so what I'm going to do is just Take some Tombow and unblock it. Yeah, stick that on like that. Put it on like that just to give it a bit more colour, actually. I really like that. So the dimensionals you might have noticed last time I have now used all of the middle so all I'm going to do is just pull that off and it's not hard you can pull it with your fingers you don't even need scissors and just use that to pop it up 
Okay. Turn it over. Oh, thank you. Turn it over. Snip that off. Hoping I haven't cut any of the sentiment off. That was lucky. I should have really been watching that from the other side. That was really lucky. <laughs> it's the end of my snail. Um, so we've now changed. We don't actually have snail anymore. We have seal, which is fine and dandy and I like that but um, I actually have loads of stamping uh, snail because I used to do classes with Covid all the classes have been cancelled so I used to have a lot of um, snail because I used to have glue stations and a glue shop so I'm trying to use up all of my um, my stock of that at the moment because I do have quite a few uh, rollers of it. Right. And then that is just going to go on there like that. Love that. It's not as fun and as bright as my old one. Um, I, I think I'll always love the other one I made. Um, but I still quite like this one. And I'm going to use the same Am I or am I going to? No, I'm going to use normal rhinestones actually, so I'm going to use these ones. Um, just get some putty at the end of there. If I put a few more on, shall I make it really glittery? Why not? There we go. Card two card one card two right then for card three shall i go with a different color scheme or stay the same oh the dilemmas let's stay the same because they're all on my desk and this time i'm going to use the one i didn't use last time which is the big the big big one and i'm going to mosaic this on the background so i'm just gonna pick that up and i'm going to do a background that is smoky slate and yes possibly so saffron i'm going to see how this goes so where is my piece of scrap copy paper that i just had okay like i said if it's a big stamp i like to take the ink to the stamp i know that way i've got it I'm just going to stamp this a few times on there. I know I should be using my chamois here. In fact, I am going to use my chamois here. Um, to wipe it down. Sea foam. Doesn't matter that it's overlapping, I don't think. And then finally, um, so it wasn't soft sea foam, that was so saffron, but I am going to be using soft sea foam. Oh dear me. Over where the gaps are. There we go. There's a gap over there. You see, I'm, I'm not really bothered that I'm over going different colours. It's just creating me a really nice mottled background like that. Okay. And I think that's going to form the majority of my card. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with "I love our beautiful French again because I just really, really. Um, love that stamp and I'm going to stamp it directly onto here so 
I'm actually going to stamp that in the middle in basic grey so it's nice and bold. I love our beautiful friendship. I'm going to keep it out and I'm just looking. I'm going to pop. Um, now I see I love that. I don't really want to ruin it but I am going to pop a little little spray of leaves on the side of it. That's it. Don't let me ruin it anymore. Please, please don't. I love it as it is. How simple was that? Right. Um, I've got basic grey. Now, the, I've, I've done what I did on this one on here. So I, I've used, um, I made some swatches for my team I took it out the center of the card so that it didn't I still could use the base more for doing that you know it's if you want to use a sentiment nick it out your base stock no one will ever know when that is stuck to the card what you have done no one will ever know it saves as well having lots of big pieces of card just die cut into so that's going to stick on there I'm going to stick it flat what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rhinestones I'm going to get my basic black um, stamping, uh, stamping blends I'm using the dark one and I'm going to use the brush tip and I'm just going to colour in three of my rhinestones. Give them a few seconds just to dry. Doesn't take long. Love our beautiful friendship. There we go. Actually, that was the quickest, simplest of all the cards and was my favourite. Which one's your favourite? It's that one. <laughs> Let me know below. You can purchase all of the items I've used today from www.stampina... Uh, no, no, let me get that right. www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net all the details in regards to this project and any other projects I'm making are in my blog, which is slimandstylish.com. That's in the corner. And if you've liked this, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.